Um, recording the steps necessary to put a motorcycle engine into a go kart. Um, this is a 425 Suzuki uh, six speed engine. We got it out of a motorcycle that we bought for around 300 bucks. Um, the old go kart um, had an eight horse power snowblower engine in it. Uh, we just sided that was too little, so we're um, pumping it up a notch. Um, so we have the engine here on the bench. Um, this is the starter. What is the starter relay? This is the voltage regulator. We're gonna make a box right here. Wow. We're gonna make a box back here to hold all these up and keep them all dry. On top, there's two coils that we're gonna have to mount up here somewhere. The wires to the spark plugs are really short, so they're gonna be probably right up here around somewhere. We're probably gonna make a plate. There's two cables on top. They're both with the gas. One pushes, one pulls. We're going to have to figure out how to hook that up to a gas pedal because on a regular motorcycle engine it's obviously two motions forward and back. Um, there's also this cable right here for the clutch. We're going to have to figure out how to hook that up. Also the choke, since every time you start the motorcycle you have to choke it, we're going to have to make something to hook from here to go up to the driver's seat so that you can start it while you're inside the, the go-kart you don't need two people to start it. The exhaust pipes we're going to have to change because before there was one on each side looked exactly like this one on each side that went underneath. We don't have room for that. It'd bring it too close to the ground. So we're going to have something to come up on the side and really be tight, come right up next to the engine, because otherwise we can't fit it inside the frame. This is the sprocket cover. There's a lot of work we got to do underneath here. This is the shifter bar that usually comes out right by your foot on a motorcycle. I'm going to have to make linkage to go up, up and over. This is the clutch this thing comes in and out. Once you push it in a certain amount, it disengages the fly the well the drive shaft so you can switch into your next. This is the clutch adjuster. We're gonna have to reincorporate this into the into the final. It's gonna have to go right here. We're gonna have to make special bars and stuff to hold that on there. We need some way to get the drive sprocket out past the side of the engine so it can connect it to the main sprocket on the axle. The first step is going to be making a frame to hold this securely on the go-kart. Um, I'm going to use the original eight uh, mounting mounting holes on the engine. There's two on the, there's four on the back, two on the front, and two on the knee. Here's the frame to mount the engine. Um, it got really complicated because I needed to make it into two pieces so that I can get the engine on and off. The other thing that made it complicated was it has to slide on the frame of the go-kart. So there's two threaded rods underneath here and here. And all I have to do is move these two nuts and the frame will slide back and forth. I'm going to paint it first before I put it on the engine. We finished manufacturing all the new parts and I'm going to describe it as I put it together. The first thing is to put the engine on the new frame. The rest of the bolts on. Never take it off again. Oh, I'm going to take this one off. We got the engine on the frame, and then this is the drive shaft extension. We started off with thick wall tubing, and then we welded on 716 metal rods so that it'll fit right over the existing sprocket. After that we put another piece of pipe inside of there, inside of that we put a one inch spline, short piece of splined drive shaft. Then we took another piece of pipe and we machined it so we can fit in taper bearing collars.
To support the bearing, we have something similar to a muffler clamp. Of course, the last piece is the drive sprocket. We made this to extend the push rod because the drive shaft was in the way. Then this bracket holds the clutch adjuster. Here was the existing foot pedal to shift the gears. We turned it inside out so we can place it on backwards. So that all the linkage will go over top of the drive shaft that was before in the way and then everything will connect up here so that we can shift gears in the front. Now we'll put the whole assembly together. Putting a homemade mechanism on so that I can move the choke from my seat. In the front there's a lever so that just from my seat I can put the choke on and off. Here's the finished assembly. And then for all the electrical up here, I made this box to house all of it inside of there. So that's all the electrical, and then we're putting the cover over top of it. We're going to put a decal or something, just to, I don't know. And now for the coils. I made an aluminum plate to hold them both on top, like I said in prior video. The coils are in place, they're nice and steady. The last thing is the exhaust manifold. This is the exhaust manifold we just welded out of a steel pipe. It's in two pieces because we wouldn't be able to get it on otherwise and we used a high temperature spray paint to just make sure it didn't rust. I'm just going to put a standard silencing muffler on. And that's it, that completes the assembly of the engine.